what we're going to do today is <clears throat> work more on the uh, explosion of her, you know, so uh, video. It's a little bit of a spoiler. So what I want to do is just work on the hair. Come down here with a nice red. And when you got that red down, you want to just blend it in real nice right here. Like this. Just come off a little bit. You want to just charcoal that red in real good into the flesh. Once you get that red blend blended in, use your tone right here for your flesh. Remember to get all this stuff off right here, okay? So you're just going to blend it right into the flesh. See it? Just make it go right in. What it does is it gives it the splatter look and then use this right here to go through the hair. Just a little bit to give it tone and texture off it. She has black hair but you want to tone it so that she has the blood inside here. As you can see she's bursting through the belly right here and coming out of her. She's dead so you have to go ahead and make her away, uh, away a little bit so you have to blur it. You might think this is crazy but I use a sock, a new sock and I polish it right here. And once you polish it like that, and you don't polish this one, look what you get. Now you have an effect. See, now she's far away because you polished all the grain away. You can use anything you want, but my wife wants to kill me half the time because I wear I use socks. But so you just go like this with the red. And it's a new sock, by the way. It's not an old sock. Okay, once you get that tone, you want to go in here and start blending your other colors in especially right here so you want your little tan and your in your cream this is a cream colored one and start blending into the face right here I left this all blank to show you put it right underneath the eyelid and right on the top you don't want to use white remember she's bursting through so you want to use a cream and just come straight down here and then straight up here and then use a little bit into the hair see now you've got this tone look across Go right into the red itself. As you can see, I've got her bursting through. And right here, I've just made an explosion and did her nails the same way. Just popped it out. Okay, you always use your china marker last to kind of give yourself your highlights. So go in here to the lip right here and use your china marker. Just real lightly. See it? Go on the teeth and right on the top. Go around the bottom right there, and pop it. Now you have that look. Same thing right here on her eyelashes, on the on top of the nose, a little bit here, and then go into the hair. Pop this right here. Now comes the hair. Now you just want to use a little bit because you don't want to tone real bad. Just pop it off right here, see? And then right here. You want to tone her teeth in here and her bottom lip. Remember, she's in the in the background, dead, because that creature has popped through her. So you just want to go ahead and give her just a little bit of white, a little bit on the cheeks right here, a little bit on that little pattern I did for her on that blood, like so. Now I tanned her out with a black, so I want to come in just a little bit and give her a shadow right where her hair is right here. Not much, and on this side. Let me put a little bit right here for her chin, underneath. Now see, her, her, the blood is spurting out. So now I did her hands the same way up. I just kind of tanned it out, and then her nail, like so. And I put right over that tan right here with the white. Come down a little bit, and then pop this out. You want it where it's the black as the shadows here, but just kind of pop it out a little bit. It just gives it more life when you're looking at it especially right here on the burst okay and then on the hair and a little bit more now this separates the chin right here so you just want to separate it and give it a look now comes the burst of blood you want to come off the nose this is very important you want to just come off this nose right here with a burst of blood So she's spraying it out. You don't want to have it natural. So just go straight across with it. Okay. 
and then her breath would be the same thing. Now you want to add just a little bit of China White into it, not much, so that it comes across the blood right here. So it gives it that, that look, see it? It just pops everything out. It shows the direction of the blood splatting out so that the person looking at the picture will get it. They'll see that it's coming down. You put little drops in, in like this and just little pieces. That might pop a little bit in there to kind of tone her out. Maybe a little bit here. And then I'll just get in there with them eyelashes right there and pop them out. There you go.